Hey everyone, let's take a look at how to complete your weather observations in the Teleschool uh, Weather Digital Interactive Journal. So this thing is meant to help us do some weather observations. So for today, we'll call this one day one, and so that's already completed. The date for today, we'll say is 4-9, so that's April 9th, 2020. The time right now is 10 o'clock and it's 10 a.m. The temperature right now, if we look over to some of our observation places to collect data, um, this is the current weather for our area and it's saying that it's 58 degrees right now. So let's jump back and we'll say 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you'll be typing this, so you'll probably type the word degrees instead of using the little circle. For our cloud types today, uh, I went out and checked around to see clouds and over my house it looks pretty much like this. There is this little guy right there, but that's a cumulus cloud, doesn't really seem to have much bearing on what's going on for us. So for this one we would say cloud types, there's really not any. The sky is pretty much blue. The current weather right now is clear and it seems like it's warming, so it's a nice day. Wind speed, let's take a look at that. Now we can collect that information right here where it says the wind speed is nine miles per hour. Uh, yeah, that's probably pretty close. So we'll say nine miles per hour. Wind direction, if we look at this also, doesn't really tell us on here, but I can feel it and it's blowing out of the southwest. And so we would say the direction is blowing from the southwest. That's which uh, direction it's coming from. Now, barometric pressure is interesting. This site doesn't really show it. So if we come to this one right, let me back up just a little bit right here. Uh, your link looks a little bit differently. I couldn't get that site to open myself today, but you can see right there it says 25.49 and the symbol for inches. So we'll come back and we'll record 25.49 symbol for inches, two hash marks. Now what that tells me is this. Here's a diagram of a really old time barometer. A barometer measures atmospheric pressure or how much the air is pushing down on you at any time. Here in Utah, we're right about 14.2 pounds. Fix that just a little bit. Per square inch. On every square inch of your body, on every square inch of you, there's about 14 pounds pressing on that. Now you think with that much pressure, you'd think we'd just be getting crushed, but your body is pushing back with equal pressure and most of your body's water and so water can't be compressed and so you, you don't feel that pressure. But if you go up in the mountains, you'll notice that you, your ears pop because the air pressure goes down. If you go to Los Angeles, you'll notice that at Los Angeles, it's about 14.7 pounds per square inch, so a little more pressure. You feel like you can breathe easier at that altitude. So we have pressure all the time. Well, in this old timey barometer, the air is pressing down on this liquid metal. This is mercury. And so as the air pushes down with 14 pounds per square inch, if there's a lot of air pressure, that's going to push more mercury up in the tube, which tells us that the pressure is rising. That means we have a high air mass, a high pressure air mass moving in. If there's less pressure pushing down, then what we would see is that the line here, this would be lower. And that means a low pressure air mass, which means there might be a storm coming. So high pressure usually means good weather. Low pressure usually means not such good weather. And 25.49, that's kind of lower pressure. So we want to watch that. Let's take a look at our fronts now. This would be the map that we're looking at right here. So here are some fronts. As you can see, Utah is here. So we're sitting kind of, let me grab a color. We're sitting kind of right in here. Here's Utah. And so we have this low pressure sitting on top of us. Now looking out to the west, weather in the United States tends to move from west toward the east. And if we look right here, there's a high pressure, but then there's a storm sitting here with a low pressure coming behind it. 
So I would imagine that in maybe the next couple of days, that low pressure is going to kind of move toward us. Now check this. This is a stationary front right there. If you remember the symbols, this is a front that's kind of a low and a high just sitting there. It's not really doing much. There's some low and high pressure here kind of to our east in Colorado, but that's already affected us. That's not going to affect us today. Well, if the weather's moving this direction, there's a chance that it looks like maybe later today or tomorrow, depending on the speed of this front, we might get a weather change. So let's take a look back here. When we talk about fronts, there's a low pressure coming to us from the west. Precipitation today is none. So my forecast for later today and tomorrow is that we might see some unsettled weather might be due for a little bit of rain, maybe just cloudiness, depending on how much that storm moves our direction. Now, one thing we didn't look at closely was here, and this is Windy. This is the site called Windy. So here at Windy, if you look closely, Utah is sitting right here. Okay, so that's where we are. Let's move that out of the way right now. And so if you remember from our pressure map, there was this low pressure thing. These little white lines don't show the uh, rain. What they're showing is the direction of the wind. And you can see that here in Utah, we've kind of got wind just blowing sort of every direction. It's not a strong wind, just a little bit going on. So not a lot happening. But this thing right here seems to be headed toward us and so we might be getting a little bit of unsettled weather and a little bit more wind as time goes on. Okay, so let's look at what we've completed so far. We checked out the date, we checked off the time, we got the temperature, what types of clouds there are, we looked at the sky for that, we assessed the current weather that it seems like a nice day, kind of warm, wind speed of about nine blowing from the southwest. We've got this low pressure, low pressure front, uh, air front is coming toward us. Right now, no precipitation, but our forecast for tomorrow may be cloudy, a little bit unsettled with maybe some rain. Okay, I hope that is clear enough on how to complete your weather observations. We'll be doing that for about the next two weeks or so, so hopefully that clarifies what you'll be doing. All right, have an awesome day. I hope it stays beautiful for you where you are.